this hot tub. Oh, it's it's that hot, hot that we can't we can't even get in the hot tub. <laughs> okay, is this hot enough for you? <laughs> so this is like um, a little room they've got here at the um, shearing station with all the animals that they get here. Okay, they've got a little room made up here of the Aboriginal timeline. Devil. Amazing. Hey buddy, you are so cute, mister. Hey little buddy. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Look at you. You are so cute. You're so cute. Okay, we'll let you be in peace. So I just came outside to throw this stuff in the bin and this silly little bugger almost stepped on him. Look at him. He's just hiding there, rubbish, and he's just chilling here. Aren't you, mate? Look at you. So it's our 27 year wedding anniversary and we've come to the Old Perla for dinner tonight. In Denham. In Denham. Um, it's a seafood restaurant, or it's got mostly seafood here, so we're hoping to have either a seafood platter for two or a lobster morning. Um, we'll just have a chat to the waitress and just ask her what comes with these meals. And we'll make up our mind. Mm. But it's a cute little place, it's not very big. There's probably about nine tables here. Um, one and waitress, one one, yeah. <laughs> and the building is actually made up of those tiny little shells. So Naomi is digging into her entree. Good morning. <clears throat> We've come out today to uh, Francois Perron National Park and we're going to head out to Cape Perron, the furthest point here, and make our way slowly back and try and see some other spots along the way. It is a really windy day today. Um, so, I don't know, there's nothing really much to do. We're not going to go swimming, I don't think. Uh, we've come to this section here where you need to reduce your tyres um, as it is going to be soft sand from here. Rob's um, onto that at the moment. And we're bogged badly. It's really soft sand here. We're gonna have to start digging, Naomi. <clears throat> so we finally made it to Cape Peron, right at the tip. We got ourselves out of that bog situation. <laughs> um, it wasn't looking some time, and this one panicking. Yeah, I did panic because. It just didn't look good. The car had really dug itself down to pretty much the chassis and mm. I thought we're not getting out of this. Um, so there was a lot of digging to be done <clears throat> and we probably spent a good half an hour trying to dig all this sand out. 
and we ended up resorting to using the Max tracks for the first time, um, which got us out of that situation. <laughs> And we've come out now to Cape Peron. We just had some lunch. There was um, there's a good little picnic area up the top. It's got barbecues. I'll flip it around so you can have a look. Over there where those people are. Cool. So we've come down to these cliffs here, and I just can't get over the um, the colour of the red here. We're making our way now to Skipjack Point. It's a lookout here. It's supposed to be quite high and you should be able to see, I mean, dugongs or any big type of fish coming through. I don't know if we're gonna see anything, but you know, we'll come out and have a look. So this is Skipjack Point. As you can see, it's mega bouncy. It's very, very soft sand. Very We're all bouncing around here in the car. Um, yep. So <laughs> I can't even speak, but um, we had to deflate our tyres down to 15 psi and keep a steady pace and don't slow down. Otherwise, you will get bogged, as we experienced earlier. So hopefully we can get out of this and not get bogged on the way out. <laughs> it's just bouncing around everywhere. We're back at the um, tyre inflating station that they've got here, set up in the park. So Rob's just... Oh. Sounds like Naomi's getting into the esky at the back here. So, we've got you on camera, Naomi. You cannot no. hide this. my first cast with the squid jig I ended up hooking up a squid that's my catch so now Naomi ended up bringing me across to the other side with the pad up, paddle board so she's going back now to pick up Rob to bring him on this side because
Bob picked up a nice whiting here on a popper. Beautiful whiting. That's a nice size whiting. Okay, let's have a photo without strangling your mother. No. Uh, just wanted to also say that here at um, Big Lagoon, you can camp. So you've got all these um, camping spots up here. There are drop toilets, but you still have to, you know, um, be self-contained like with your shower and your own drinking water and stuff like that. There isn't anything like that here. <clears throat> we've just made some sandwiches and got ourselves some drinks out of the car, and we've come out into these one one of these sheltered areas where they've got barbecues and stuff and their outdoor seating area. So this is like a bar setup, really. So you can sit, have your lunch, and look at the view.